the lovely, friendly dragonfly. My first encounter this spring, June 3rd, 2011. On a morning walk in the sunshine down by the river. This is taken with my iPhone. Didn't bring my little Canon, Canon Digital Elf today. So this is an experiment. An awesome opportunity for a reminder about opportunities for adaptability. The property I am on is technically owned by Emporia State University. And I think it's awesome that this little guy is very much the colors of Emporia State, black and gold, the hornets. So this is uh, my little hornet dragonfly. And he, she is being very friendly, very patient, very compliant. Not quite ready to step over onto the fingers, but amazing how close they let me get to it. And that's part of dragonfly whispering, is the extreme, slow, even movements to get this close. Like becoming part of the environment, just blending in, no sudden movements. Even though the flies are biting me and the ants are biting me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just ignoring that because I'm having this awesome face-to-face -face encounter with one of my favorite creatures. The dragonflies, they have helped me to heal. Each encounter has a new blessing, a new opportunity for healing. And it's all a metaphor. It's a metaphor for life. To be aware of each moment, this present moment, and what tiny little gem we may not see because we are too fast moving on our hurried path. And it's safe to slow down, smell the roses, stop and have a friendly encounter with an awesome little dragonfly and let it lift your spirit into the dawn of a new light, a new understanding, and a new life for yourself. Because that's what the dragonflies have given to me and continue to give to me if I am willing to pause, show up, and meet them on their terms. They will always respond. And isn't that true of life and all relationships? Meet others on their terms. Move slowly, gently, kindly, patiently, honoring them and their space not being too pushy, not being too forward, but just letting them know you're there. And when they're ready, they can step forward onto a safe place, into a safe space, and receive 
what I have to offer. Encounters like this are sometimes a puzzlement. Who can outweigh the other? How long am I willing to <laughs> be crouched down in this position on the ground, leaning on one elbow with my iPhone propped up against the ground in front of my hand and propped on one hip, my right hip, and my left leg is outstretched beyond to give me more support. And I think I'm probably going to be the one that tires the soonest. Since I am in an abnormal position and this little guy is in a very normal position and just enjoying the sun a little breezy. Probably he's not too anxious to take flight because it is a little breezy. He's been hanging close to the ground, which is a safer place. But I'm beginning to squirm. A little ache in my hip, pressure under my right elbow against the grass and the ground. I'm on the rocky dirt of a gravel path. But it's all been worth it. Very worth it. I have been taping now for 11 minutes. I have no idea how long my iPhone will record video. I've never done video this long on my iPhone. But I think I'm about ready to bid my little friend farewell. I'm sure there is another encounter on another day, if not with this friend, another one like him. And I thank him, I honor him, and I wish him a long, happy, and prosperous life. As I do to all of you out there.